Hey everyone, welcome to Apple iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. This will just be a quick little short video. Someone's been asking me uh, several times to uh, make a little video on how to make a USB bootable. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a USB bootable. Oops, now I just dropped the flash drive. Um, this is the same concept that it would be done through all your other OSs, which I can okay make more uh, boots. So you can see this one already has a boot. I put the Marvel icon on there. Uh, it already has Mojave in there. Uh, some people have been downloading my OS X versions that I've been sharing with everybody because it's very hard to find those. Uh, so let me open my Dropbox here. Uh, under my share, under my Macintosh, uh, my Mac OS X. So these are all the OS Xs that people are trying to grab hold of. Uh, for right now, the you can try to download them if you have an older version like say high sierra and below you can try to do it through the link through uh, apple's website to download them uh, by going here yeah i'm watching some youtube videos here uh what is it apple uh, high we'll try it sierra uh, download <coughs> here's an upgrade so let's hit this one so this is basically a site that they go to, uh, you know, they read the backup, so forth. Uh, so High Sierra has two versions. They have a uh, full full blown version, and then they have an upgrade. So here's a full blown, and then they just have the upgrade. If they're just coming from, say, Sierra here itself, uh, you can do that. Uh, but what you can do actually down here, um, it says if you still need High Sierra, this one here is physically the high uh, the full blown version. So, but when you click on this, I'm on Mojave, so this is most likely it's not going to work. But <coughs> it says there, there it is. Okay, great. Now, if I hit get, it's going to open this software update, and then it's going to notice that I'm on Mojave, and then it most of the time it does fail uh, because you can't download High Sierra under Mojave. Uh, for some reason they just don't want you to have that uh, but also your hard drive uh, should be uh, uh, if you're running Mojave uh, what I do notice here's my Mojave uh, I'm running as an APFS APFS here here it is so you see this this copy of the install application is too old to be open on a version of this Mac OS so basically you can't download this file you're you're restricted you're stuck but again if you're on Mojave why would you need high Sierra but again, uh, if you're on an older version of High Sierra and older, you can you should be able to download this. But instead of going through that trouble, you can send me a link. Uh, put your comments down below. You want a version? I will give it give it to you. I have them all here, and they're all ready to go. So I just share you the folder, and then you can download the file directly to your computer or wherever you want to download it to, and so forth. But going back to the hard drive, the APFS, uh, it is not backward compatible if you are trying to open high sierra for whatever reason like uh, if you're popping out high sierra external hard drive on your computer uh, it doesn't always read the drive so just be careful on that because uh, you might corrupt your files so let's go ahead and get started uh, so let's go ahead and close all this uh, let's minimize this so here's my marble i'll put it on the green dot here <coughs> and uh excuse me catching a cold here so I'm just gonna put another folder here I'm gonna open this one uh, oh, not correction not open I'm gonna get in the info uh, I just copy this thing and I just paste it into this folder here uh, because you know I like my drives pop up with little icons so okay it's there so now you would go ahead and open the terminal now you can do this uh, well actually correction there's a new way to do it uh, it's it's one step uh, missing uh, for Mojave but all the other versions do the same process so you would of course have to do your sudo <coughs> and then if you go to, to that directory which uh, I gotta go to my directory here uh, Macintosh, Mac OS 10 so you would go and get your like say for an example you're gonna do High Sierra because you need an older version or Yosemite Mavericks Mountain Lion same process so we're going to go ahead and open this up so we're going to actually do show packages you're going to do contents then you're going to do uh resources 
And then this one here called create install media, you want to drag that right after you type in sudo. So once you do that, you want to just go ahead and slash slash dash dash. And then you want to do uh, application path, one word, and then space. And then what you want to do, you got to go back on this one. This is the application. You want to drag this one over here. And then lastly, you want to do it again. And you want to do volume. Uh, I think it's just volume. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. Um, so then once you do volume, you want to go ahead and look for the volume. The volume is right here. This is the flash drive. Pop it in there. Uh, this might go pretty fast because I'm using like uh, a flash drive that's like an, uh, an NVMe PCIe. So it's like really the fastest, fastest there is. Uh, it's expensive, but uh, it works. So now you just press enter. You put in your computer password. There it is. You won't see the password. Press enter. It's going to say, are you sure you want this volume to be blah, blah, blah. And you say yes and enter. Now it's flying through here. So as you can see, it went from 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, and then jumped directly to 100. Didn't even go through the 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Uh, you'll see that in slower flash drives. It will do that. So uh, slower flash drives are ones that are probably only running probably 50 megabytes per second. Uh, my flash drive here is running close to 450 to uh, 600 sometimes, depending where you're transferring from. I'm transferring from an iMac 5K, so it's a uh, Fusion drive, so it's a uh, bit much faster. So while this is going through, uh, <coughs> the process that I did up here is pretty much the exact same process you would do for all the other OS 10s. Uh, the only thing in difference in the Mojave version. Uh, you can follow this process, but I have found that on 10.14.5, uh, uh, it kind of broke the system, and you can only do it a different certain way to make a live bootable disk. Uh, so, not a live bootable, I'm sorry, uh, a live USB boot. Uh, oh, correction, let me rephrase that. It's not a live, it's just a USB install boot. <coughs> I do have live bootable and you know I, I can show you how to do those too but that'll be in another video so this is almost done because uh, it normally doesn't take that long uh, but other than that yeah so if you guys need a uh, software that is not available on the web or it's kind of hard to look for uh, just shoot me a, a comment down below and I will uh, send it on over your way so there you go it's already completed the copy it's installed and so forth and then if I look for the file which is right here this white icon over the uh, red dot open that up and then there's my high Sierra <coughs> all right so that's pretty much how to make a USB external boot uh, to do an install fresh install on your Mac uh, hopefully supporting high Sierra if not uh, I will uh, share any other additional videos that uh, show uh, Mac OS X uh, to uh, do other versions. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. Just put in your comments down below and then uh, share with you um, the additional files. All right, have a great day.